Hi, I'm Nadine Davis, and I am your professor for College Comp 1. I have taught College Comp 1 at Delta College for 30 years, going into my 31st year. I've had a lot of experience, and I truly enjoy teaching this course. There I am. You can call me Prof. Nadine or Prof. Davis, whatever you're most comfortable with. Um, I thought I'd just show you a picture of me so you know who I am rather than have me talking at the bottom of the screen. Um, I introduce you to my two dogs, Abby and Spencer, who you will hear barking or crying in videos. And the reason I'm telling you about this is if I stopped every time my dogs barked or cried, I'd never get a video made. So if this one gets through uh, bark free, we're going to be really in good shape. You probably want to know a little bit about my background. I've already said that I teach comp. I've taught comp for 20, uh, 30 years. But my BA is from Michigan State University. Yes, go green. And that was in English. And my MAT, MAT was from SVSU, uh, Masters of Teaching in English. And I have PhD work at Capella University, Instructional Design for Online Learning. I also have taken... I can't even name the number of workshops and in-service on how to, how to teach writing. The important documents that you're going to need to work with in the course are the syllabus, course outcomes and objectives, odds and ends, and plagiarism. Those are the four most important documents in the course, and you need to familiar, familiarize yourself with those. Um, you are responsible to know everything in those documents, and I will be going over the highlights in just a few minutes. First of all, you need to read carefully everything. I find the problem when students ask me questions is they just haven't read. They just haven't gone through and read it. and Or they've read it so many times they've confused themselves. So read carefully. Uh, if you have trouble reading, you might want to print things and look at it and highlight it, and I think that will help you out a lot. If you do have questions about assignments, about uh, how to do something, requirements, anything that you would raise your hand in class for to ask a teacher, put it on the raise your hand form. Um, there I can answer, and I would ask all of you to monitor that form because there might be a question that somebody already asked that I've answered, and you won't have to wait for an answer. The key to the course is mutual respect, negotiation, and compromise. I ask that all of us respect each other, that you respect me and I will respect you, um, that when you are working in your groups, there will be negotiation and compromise. You will be doing a lot of peer sharing in your groups, and these uh, are times when you're going to have to negotiate compromise and learn from each other. There will be specific guidelines as to what you are going to do in your groups. I want you to realize that your due dates, um, your assignment is due every Sunday. So the week sort of runs from Monday through Sunday. You can turn things in early, but everything is due on Sunday night at 11.59 p.m. Each assignment I ask you to do builds on the next, so if you don't get your things in on time, you're going to miss a substantial amount of information that you need. You can't just skip a week and go to the next. I guess you can if you had students do it, but in the week... Um, the week they skipped, they missed something that they needed to know for the week that, that is due. So you have to be uh, alert and able to uh, get everything in on Sunday night at 11.59 p.m. That's why I don't accept late work. Every single assignment is in a specific sequence helping you learn how to write better. Now, after the first three weeks, there are assignments um, sometime will take you more than a week. As to the course site, I want to direct you to information, uh, important information um, from the syllabus. Um, when am I available? I'm available by appointment. I will not be in my office regularly this semester, and I find that does 
pretty, you know, not much harm because most of you aren't on campus anyway. Some of you are. Some of you are taking online courses. And some of you are, you know, taking face-to-face. -face, but I find um, many of you are just taking online courses. Um, and you're working full-time. And um, it's just easier to meet by appointment. Um, you can call my cell phone anytime between 8 a.m. and 4.30 p.m. Um, and if I am near my cell phone, I will answer it. If I don't answer you right away, um, I'm busy doing something. I will tell you that um, between 9 and 10.30, that's my sacred hour and a half where I go to the Sherwood Pool, Saginaw Township, and do water aerobics. And that hour is sacred to me because it keeps me going. It helps me relax and helps me become a better teacher. Um, so if you have to call me during that time, leave a message and leave a name and a number um, and your question so I can get back to you. Um, please respect my cell phone number and limit the calls to the normal Delta hours. Now, you're thinking, well, gosh, I don't get out of work till 6 and blah, 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 all these things that happen. And that's normal. You are very busy people, and I understand that. You can text me at 989-385-0041 anytime. Um, so if I'm watching the Tigers lose and you text me and my phone's near me, I can, I can pretty much return your text. Now, the only reason you should be calling me or texting me is because it's a personal um, problem that you need to ask me. Everything else should go on the uh, Raise Your Hand discussion board. By personal problem, it's about a grade. Um, you don't understand a comment I made on an assignment, those kinds of things. Required book. Everybody Writes in Essential English Simplified. Everybody Writes is written to people in business that want to have a better web presence. And you might think, well, why in the heck did I choose that for a freshman comp book? I chose it because you are not going to be writing five-paragraph essays the rest of your life. Yes, we will get to the five-paragraph essay, and you'll do a lot more with it if you take English 112. But the basis for writing a five-paragraph essay is knowing how to communicate to your audience, knowing who your audience is, knowing what you want to say to your audience, um, the main idea you want to get across, and then if you're successful. English Simplified, I will refer you to. We won't have actual assignments out of it, but I will refer you to it if you're having trouble with commas, uh, periods, those types of things. You might think, oh boy, then I don't have to write English Simplified. Well, if I tell you to go there and to brush up on some of those comma rules and I don't see a change, I'll let you know about it. Uh, attendance is mandatory. Two-fifths of a course, missing it equals drop from course. That means two weeks you don't do an assignment, the third week you miss an assignment, you're out. That's it. You're gone. Um, you cannot possibly succeed in the course unless you do each and every assignment in the proper sequence. That's why I don't take late work and that's why if you miss one week and then you come back the next and you say, can I turn in last week's assignment, the answer is no. If you watch this video and you fail to do the first week's assignment, I will drop you also. The first week of the course sets the tone and the attitudes and everything we need to know about each other, so it's important that you're here. Again, I mentioned the word respect because that's the most important thing in the class. Um, one way you are respectful is don't turn your work in late. Um, that kind of disses me. It this is your classmates if you're working in groups. Um, it's just not a nice thing to do. Um, it's not good for you either, for your learning experience. You will only get as much out of this course as you put into it. The other thing is respectful language on the discussion boards. Um, you're going to write formal English. You're not going to write um, internet ease, and you're not going to write informally. Um, and the language also should be respectful in that you're not accusing people, you're not uh, making fun of people, those kind of things. Now, I don't have trouble with respectful language for the most part. In my classes, I can't remember a recent incident. However, um, if I leave this off the syllabus, I know somebody's going to do it, okay? Now I'm going to take you to the course site. 
and here we go. Now, right here, you will go to English 111 um, FA84, 85, 850. If you're in 880, you can still go to this class and you will find all the assignments for 880. Right now, there is nothing in this section here. Um, you will um, see the video here, okay? Now, the calendar. Um, here will tell you about most of the assignments, but not everything. And that's why the most important part of the course is content. First of all, you'll go to infor important information, and these documents are the most important documents in the course, and I've mentioned them before. The syllabus, which I've highlighted the highlights, but there are other fine details that you need to do to read about how I like things turned in, about MLA format, and those types of information. The outcomes in a, and um, fill it syllabus looks like this. Let's get there. It might take a little while for it to download. Um, it's important that you read it very carefully as these are the rules. This is the contract that I'm making with you. And by starting in the course, you have accepted the um, consequences or the you know, you've accepted the contract. Um, notice it has everything on it. That takes a while sometimes for the next page, though. There you go. Um, but I have it kind of in categories. Welcome, office hours, books, which I highlighted. Basic policies, the attendance policy I've gone over with you. Um, I do not allow obscene or offensive language. We've talked about that. Um, contact me privately about grades. Please, if you don't understand a grade, don't sit there and mutter about a C until it festers, until you're just angry. Talk to me about it. Okay, and remember, a C is a good grade. I have students come into this class and say, oh my goodness, I'm getting C's, and I'm going, well, yeah, that's a good grade. That's average. You, you B, D and N, F are the worst ones, okay? C's are a good, are good grades, okay? Um, and I also then have other categories. Again, it takes a little bit for it to load. Things that I expect for you from you. I expect uh, no late work. I expect um, I will not read papers that have spelling errors. There's no reason in this day and age with Google and with spell checkers that you can't get a word spelled right, okay? Um, plagiarism, immediate failure, okay? And if you're thinking, I don't know what it is, don't worry, we'll get to that. Um, other expectations for class work, and so on in the syllabus. Um, another thing, I find so many students tell me in the last two weeks of the course or so, i got to pass this class, and they're getting like a D. Well, you should have thought of that in the second, third, and fourth week of the class when you missed a couple assignments when you didn't do well on a couple assignments, okay? Um, you're disrespectful if you have don't call me or email me if you have a question. Because I can't tell if you do. I can't reach through this computer and say, hey, whoever, what's your problem? What's your question? What can I help you with? You've got to let me know, and I will help you, okay? Um, the next thing you need to be aware of is the um, outcomes and objectives for the course. Notice this will open in a new uh, tab here, and it just tells you what we're going to be working on, uh, effective, write effectively for appropriate rhetorical situations. That just means different types of writing. Um, we're going to be doing reading and writing, and we're going to develop critical thinking skills. I'm going to shut that off. I'm going to go to the next. Um, the plagiarism policy. Where is it? Oh, my goodness. Important information. Where did it go? Okay, I'll have to fix that. But the plagiarism policy defines plagiarism, and it also um, explains the penalties. The other thing that you need to read, and this is sort of like your Bible, your guideline, um, it's odds and ends. It's not information found in the syllabus, um, but it kind of, it's the manual. It's how to complete what you need to do 
um, that is found on the syllabus, okay? Um, I talk about contacting me. Again, you've got to get, get in touch with me. Um, things about deadlines, things about uh, announcements, the announcement board on the, on the course site, uh, the things you need for class, how to find assignments, and etc. And the discussion board criteria is missing, and I will get that up um, soon, but that is the most important part of uh, getting on the discussion board. I have no idea why it's not there, but I will find it and get it to you. The other thing you need to review before starting classes, um, just you don't need to open everything up, but you should look at these um, categories. And these are things that we're going to be working on throughout the course. And just be aware of um, there's help here. You might want to go here before you post a question. The next thing you're going to go to, um, and this is how you're going to take the course, is I have every week or two figured out here. And you click on this, and it notice it has a start date, August 28th. You will not see it till that day. I might change that to the 27th, but that's what it is. There's going to be a quiz on the textbook, pages 11 through 43, so you need to know... Um, read it, read it carefully. You're going to need to read this not only to take the quiz but to do your first writing assignment. Notice this is due by September 4th by 11.59 p.m. You will not be able to read this, take the quiz, and do the first writing um, by opening this up on September 4th and getting started. I guess you could do it, but I think it would be pretty rotten, okay? Um, then you will do your first writing assignment, which will, if you click right here, go immediately to the discussion board, and it explains it to you, and then you start a new thread, and you have your uh, first post done, okay? Um, when I go back to content here, these this course the, for September 5th won't be open until... Uh, September 4th, okay, and so on. So you will not see December 12th through 17th until December 11th, and so on, and so on. Um, I reveal it each week because sometimes I find my students are overwhelmed. If you have any questions or comments, please put them on the Raise Your Hand forum. Um, I will look for them and I will uh, answer your questions. Please remember to stay in touch.